In the previous lecture, we have studied that if we are given a function f of x, and the graph of this function goes up just like this one, or the graph is like this one, or the graph is like this one, or the graph is like this one. So in that case, the function f of x is said to be increasing. And we say that the slope of that graph must be positive. So we have f dash of x equal to positive number. And now we studied again that if we have the graph of a function which comes down from up to down like this one or it comes like this one or the graph is like this one so in that case we say that that function is decreasing in this interval and the slope must be negative. So we have f dash of x equal to a negative number. Let us use this idea to find the interval in which this function is increasing or decreasing. First of all, let us differentiate this function. So f dash of x is equal to 2x minus 1. And now for the critical point, we must put f dash of x equal to 0. And from here we get 2x minus 1 equal to 0, which gives x is equal to 1 over 2. That is the only critical point in this interval. In the next step, we must draw that critical point on a real line. Let us say this is 1 over 2. So on the right hand side, we have infinity and on the left hand side, we have minus infinity. So we have two intervals. This one is the first interval and this one is the second interval. Let us find the nature of this function in the first interval. The first interval is minus infinity to 1 over 2. So the task is to take any point from inside this interval and put that point in f dash of x. So from inside this interval, I take a point 0. 0 is in this interval. So put 0 in f dash of x, I get f dash of 0 is equal to minus 1. And we can see this is a negative number. So this implies that the function f of x is decreasing in the interval minus infinity to 1 over 2. And now let us take the second interval. The second interval is from 1 over 2 to infinity. And again, let us take any point from inside this interval. So 1 is in this interval. And now let us put 1 in f dash. So if I plug in 1 in f dash, I get f dash of 1 is equal to 2 minus 1, which is equal to 2. So we have a positive number. So this implies that f of x, f of x is increasing in the interval 1 over 2 to infinity. In example two, we have a new function and let us find the interval in which it is increasing and decreasing. 
as usual we must differentiate this function so f dash of x is equal to x square minus x to find the critical point we put f dash of x equal to 0 which means that x square minus x is equal to 0 factorizing we get x into x minus 1 equal to 0 which gives two critical points x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1 so now we have these two critical points and let us draw these critical points on a real line this is the real line and now let us say this is my point zero this one is my point one so you, we can see there are three intervals this one is minus infinity and this is infinity so this is the first interval in which i must check the nature of this function this is the second interval and this one is my third interval Let us see the nature of this function in the first interval, which is from minus infinity to zero. We must take any point from inside this interval. So I'm taking minus one, which is a point in minus infinity to zero. And let us put that point in F dash. So F dash of minus one is equal to minus one square minus of minus one and we get two we can see this is a positive number so this implies that f of x is increasing in the interval minus infinity comma zero let us see the second interval which is from 0 to 1. Again, I will pick some point from inside this interval. So let us take 1 over 2, which is from 0 to 1 inside this interval. And plug in that point in F dash. So F dash of 1 over 2, if I simplify this, I get minus 1 over 4. And this is a negative number. So this implies that the given function f of x is decreasing in the interval from zero to one. Let us see the nature of the function in the last, in the third interval, which is from one to infinity. Again, we must take some point from inside this interval. Let us take two, which is in this interval and put that point to nf dash. So after simplification, we get two, which is a positive number. And this implies that the function f of x is increasing in the interval from one to infinity. In example three, let us consider the absolute function of x minus three, which can be written in the form plus x minus three, f x is greater than or equal to three, and minus x minus three, f x is less than three. If we differentiate this function, we get one if x is greater than or equal to three and minus one if x is less than three. So this function is not differentiable at the point x is equal to three. In other words, the right hand derivative of this function is one and the left hand derivative of this function is minus one. But here our task is only to find the interval 
in which the function f of x is increasing and decreasing. So let us draw the point on a real line. This is the real line and our point is x is equal to three. On the right hand side, we have infinity. On the left hand side, we have minus infinity. So we have two intervals from minus infinity to three and from three to infinity. Let us consider the first one from minus infinity to three and let us see the sign of f dash of x in this interval. So we can see that the sign of f dash, the value of f dash is minus one means the sign is negative when x is less than three. So this implies that f of x is decreasing in the interval from minus infinity to three. And now let us take the other interval, which is from three to plus infinity. And let us see the sign of this function from x greater than or equal to three. So we can see f dash of x is equal to plus one. So the sign of f dash is positive, which means that f of x is increasing in the interval from three to infinity. Let us see the graph of this function. This point is three. So when x is greater than three, in that case, f of x is increasing. And when x is less than three, in that case, f of x is decreasing. So this area is x less than three and here x is greater than three. That's all.